For many years, I've dreamed of multitasking with a triple display setup through a pair of AR glasses like Apple's Vision Pro, but the problem with those is that they're way too expensive at $3,500 and you can't even order them until sometime next year, requiring an appointment at Apple to buy them, which is ridiculous. So when Xreal reached out to sponsor this video, I saw that the Air glasses can do basically the same thing for a tenth of the price. And you can order them today instead of waiting. I had to check them out and to my surprise their Nebula for Mac app works wonders Basically upgrading a single MacBook into a triple monitor setup that works very well and with some very impressive specs So before we get into how easy it is to set up and get going I want to show off the design they come in this really nice and high quality carrying case with a zipper, which includes the glasses, a really nice braided USB-C cable, and some additional accessories like a microfiber cloth, customizable nose pads, a prescription lens frame, and a light shield if you want a blacked out experience. The glasses themselves feel really nice and solid while weighing only 79 grams with its slim and light design, which looks much more like glasses glasses than Apple's huge headset, also packing two open ear speakers and dual microphones with beamforming. The specs are also super impressive with a micro OLED display with 4K total resolution, great color accuracy with 108% sRGB color gamut. The XRL Air also achieved a world first in an AR device, gaining TUV Rhineland Group's low blue light and flicker free certification, which means they'll be safe for your eyes for long-term use. But now with that said and out of the way, I want to get into the setup and experience with the Xreal Air, especially using Nebula for Mac for multitasking. To get it set up, all you have to do is connect the headset to your MacBook using the USB-C cable, plugging right into one of the USB-C ports, and bam, your Mac display instantly connects and shows up in front of you no matter where you look. The quality was actually really sharp and easy to focus without eye strain and because it's AR you can still see the world around you I'm actually reading the script with the teleprompter with the X-Rail Air on right now on the other hand if you want a more immersive experience the light shield really helps block out the environment and made all of the colors really pop and look beautiful. The best part is that the X-Rail Air doesn't actually have any batteries in it, so it's powered by your device like your MacBook, so you don't have to worry about battery life at all, and it works with a bunch of devices like your iPhone, Steam Deck, and more. But the feature I really wanted to test was multitasking with a triple monitor setup, since it'll save you so much money and desk space by not having to actually buy and set up the extra monitor. So I downloaded the Nebula for Mac app, which supports both Intel and Apple Silicon Macs, and the UI and settings are really simple and easy to adjust. It lets you choose the type of desktop layout you want with either one, two, or three monitors, and it worked and connected instantly with the cursor naturally and reliably moving between each display without any issues at all. In the settings, there's a button that you click to reset the position of the displays. Just aim your face towards your MacBook display or wherever you want, adjust the angle up and down depending on where you'd like them to be positioned, click and bam, it resets the position which is actually really useful for reducing neck strain since you no longer have to look down at your MacBook's display, but now straight on in a comfortable neck position. And the best part is that the location of the virtual display setup stays static while using X-Rail Air, using the 3DOF spatial display feature, compared to moving around when you move your head, so it works like a real triple monitor setup, which is pretty amazing. What's also really neat is that you can completely dim your actual MacBook's display in front of you, so that that it doesn't interfere with the virtual displays and then this way you can easily see your keyboard and your hands in front of you to help with typing or with clicking certain keyboard controls. And then on the other hand you can also put on the light shield for a completely dark experience which is helpful if you're in a very bright environment and don't want any distractions near the
the virtual displays, and it basically gives you complete privacy where no one around you can see what's on your displays. You also have a huge amount of adjustability in the app, which includes adjusting the distance of the displays if you don't want to have to turn your head left and right to see all of the different displays. You can also adjust the size if you want a full screen experience or not. And then the best part is that you can adjust the actual angles of the side displays, even making them completely flat and lining up with the center monitor if you want. But of course, it makes more sense to have them angled towards you for a better experience. Now, as for my preferred setup, I had YouTube playing a video on the left display. And by the way, the open ear speakers are actually quite good and better than I expected. And then in the center, I had my research web tabs for looking up Apple related leaks and general web browsing. And then on the right, I actually had this video script, which I wrote while using the X-Real Air glasses because it was legitimately more convenient to multitask this way. Now, another cool feature is spatial cinema, which basically means that you get a better movie watching experience since you can adjust the size of the display to be bigger than your MacBook, which is awesome for replacing a small 13 inch MacBook display with a huge one with the X-Real Air. These also support 3D files as well, which you can download and play, offering a really cool 3D experience that you can't really get anywhere else other than physically going to the movies. I'm honestly surprised how well this works for everything, including multitasking and how I was actually using this instead of my usual Mac mini setup with a 27 inch 5K display. I've got to say that the X-Rail Air is realistically the best option on the market to experience AR and a spatial display for your Mac. It's not even close and it's for a reasonable and affordable price of just $379. That right there beats the $3,500 price of the Apple Vision Pro headset, which is honestly so expensive that there will be a lot of people who will never even get to experience something like this with an AR virtual desktop setup, which is why I've got to say bravo to Xreal for putting in the work to make such a cool, unique, and actually very useful product like the Air glasses, especially the spatial display feature where they stay in the same position, which is really cool. And as far as the reliability and settings, they did a great job nailing the software with simple and easy customization. And I love the long braided USB-C cable, which is long enough that you don't really feel any snags or inconveniences when using it. So thank you to Xreal for sponsoring this video. And if you'd like to test this out for yourself and purchase a pair of these Air glasses, you can buy them today from their website by using the link down in the description below, as well as the pinned comment. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if you have any questions about how these work, comment down below and be sure to click that circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. And definitely check out one of those two videos right over there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Video.